So in this video, I wanted to talk a bit about pen longevity, and I want to do that in a somewhat controlled manner, which usually we talk about these things in just generalizations. We say this pen doesn't last that long, this pen lasts a long time, a ballpoint lasts the longest, and while that's probably all true, uh, it's hard to really quantify that, and it's been a big mismatch between how we talk about pens on the channel and how people talk about pens kind of in real life, especially students or people that are price sensitive. They're just like, I need a pen or I want a pen that lasts a long time. And you really like this, you know, Pilot Precise V10, the 1.0 millimeter rollerball. But these things, you blow through them in a day, two days of writing. So it's not a great pen for me. What, what writes great but lasts longer? And again, it's really hard to test these things out with a pen can last for dozens of pages of writing. I got this thing, it's called an Axi Draw. It's a pen plotter, kind of like a drawing robot. And I did a bunch of writing. I've had this thing for you know a few years now, but recently I did some more controlled tests and I wanted to talk about them here. First of all, here are the pens I've looked at most deeply. We have a Uni 1 Pilot Precise V10, Bic Round Stick, Sharpie S-Gel, 0.7 Sharpie S gel 1.0 Pentel float tune and a, a pilot petite fountain pen with a very small cartridge. I did them in a number of controlled tests, same paper, same graphic they were drawing. And I wanted to get into that here. The actual evidence of the writing, it's going to be pretty boring, but it looks something like this. I got a standard page of text and I had the pens each go through this page three uniball one page four uniball one page five uniball one and so on the first test i did was with the uniball one and i thought this one was interesting because it's a popular gel pen and people have a lot of claims about its longevity and reliability so i wanted to look at this one first i got a brand new one all of these pens i tested from brand new which means that I pulled that little piece of wax off the end in order to do the test. So they were right from the start, brand new. And this one got through seven full pages, kind of drifting off a little bit at the end. And what I mean by that would be like, if you look at the end of page six and you look at the quality of the text there, then you get to the end of page seven it's noticeably lighter. Some of this might not come through on the video, but I could tell you it is lighter. And then you start seeing some breakup in the lettering, like right around there. And then if you go down to page eight of writing with this Uniball one, this one right here, and you could see it died at the end. Basically you could see it getting lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. It might be a little bit hard to tell, but it definitely got lighter as that page went on but it was really solid up until this point, right around here. And then by right here, the pen died. And here's what it looks like. It is completely shot. You can see there's a tiny little bit of ink here. It looks like there's ink here, but even if there is, it doesn't work. And this pen's been sitting idle for an hour or two, just in case it had to self-correct or however that works, but it is completely dry. We'll call it about seven and a half pages. So this one got about seven and a half, say seven and three quarter pages of writing from that Uniball one. And again, th this is very dense text. The letters are small. So I wouldn't say that seven and a half pages here translates exactly into seven and a half pages of actual writing, but we're going to use that just as a reference point. And again, it went writing on that same paper, which is fairly absorbent paper for another full half page just to prove that nothing was coming out of it. In the next test, I wanted to go old school. This is a Bic round stick, you know, just a 25 cent or whatever Bic round stick, might be less of that. And I gave it the same eight pages. These I doubled up as a test just to see, and you can see what that looks like. It's a lot lighter stroke because the ballpoint just writes lighter than a gel pen. Also, it had less weight on it, which it's a lighter pen. I experimented with adding more and more weight to it to get a slightly different stroke. And you can see here it's darker than above, which I added more weight to the pen. And here's what this looks like after eight pages. Same quality as the first page. So it just kept going. And I'll show you why I stopped the test. And that's because here is how much ink was used, used after eight pages. It went from this line right here 
to right here after eight pages. The gel pen, fully done. Same amount, actually a little bit more. And we went through, what is that? An eighth maybe of this BIC. So this would have gone, I don't know, 50 pages, 60 pages, something like that. Where does this stop? Does it stop here and it doesn't write anymore? Does it stop here? Hard to say, but easily, I feel comfortable saying you're getting over 50 pages of writing out of this. And again, these are these pages, which are much more than a handwritten page. If you want longevity, as we all knew, but now we see it, you know, test it out. You want an old school ballpoint. Next test is I moved over to this. This is the Pilot V10. So it's a 1.0 millimeter rollerball in a cartridge. So it's not like a liquid rollerball where there's a ton of ink sloshing around. It's in this cartridge. You can see completely shot. And this one, we'll look at that line. Ton of ink going down, very saturated. The, like I said, the paper is absorbent. And with that 1.0 millimeter line, you're getting just a kind of an overflow of ink, I would say. that You could see it bleeding through on the back. This is putting down a ton of ink. And how much did we get out of it? See right here from three to four, start getting a lot lighter. Basically look, here's page three, just from top to bottom, much lighter at the bottom. Page four, starting to really get light. Page five, see some inconsistency, and then it dies halfway through. So just for reference, we have eight pages, five pages, and whatever you want to call this one, call it 50. Next up, we're going over to this. This is the Pentel Float Tune, which is a relatively new rollerball, liquid style rollerball, 1.0 millimeter. This one, you cannot see the contents, which is pretty annoying, but I can tell you that it has a huge contents, which I wouldn't have guessed before. I would have guessed if, you know, a 1.0 millimeter pilot does five pages, then I would say this one would do about five pages, you know, maybe, maybe six, maybe four, maybe nine, but in the same ballpark. So let's see where it went. First of all, we can see that we have that same level of saturation, not quite as much, but definitely similar. And we got one, try to keep this quick, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and call that, you know, maybe not even a quarter. So 14 full pages of text coming out of that Flotune 1.0 millimeter. So, and again, it was very saturated, just like the pilot. Maybe the pilot was a bit more, but 14 pages versus five. That's that's a giant difference. So if you want longevity, check out that Flotune. You're still getting a 1.0 millimeter, but you're getting a lot more capacity in the pen. And, and who would have known that? It's You cannot open this pen up to see what's inside. It doesn't sell in a clear version. It doesn't have a window. You don't know if they put half the capacity in this or they just cram this thing chock full of ink. You you have no way to know. But I did the test and you could see you're getting a lot of life out of this pen. The last test I did with the text was this one. This is a fountain pen. It's a medium nib and it has a very small cartridge. I'll show everyone that. It's an undersized cartridge relative to the standard pilot cartridge and it's smaller than even in, I guess it's maybe around the size of an international standard cartridge. And that's it right there. You can see it's completely out of ink. This thing does not write anymore. And what does a mini fountain pen get you? First of all, look at that, that quality of the line. It's a little bit overdone and it did some bleeding, but I think it looks pretty cool. So you got one page, two pages, and some intermittent activity at three but basically you're getting two pages and change. It's getting a little bit lighter here, but that's it, two pages out of that fountain pen. So not a whole lot of life out of that. Okay, the last test I want to do is the difference between a Sharpie S-Gel 0.7 millimeter and 1.0 millimeter. In my head, the 1.0 millimeter is, and I guess in my experience, the 1.0 millimeter is putting down more ink, it's gonna write 
less because the cartridge size is the same and the capacity is the same. So there it is, completely, completely dry. There's a little bit left here, but it doesn't write anymore. So functionally, that is not very useful to us. And again, I started these brand new, removing the wax seal from the end. And then this one, 0.7 millimeter, similarly dead. 0.7 is blue. This one looks like it got more out of it, which was interesting. I don't know if that just has to do with how the individual refill is made or maybe one ink or the other or one batch or the other, but it did seem like I squeezed more out of that 0.7. And now go with a 1.0 millimeter first. Let's see how that did. This one I moved over to a line drawing and that's only because the plotter does these lines very quickly back and forth as opposed to going writing each letter, letter and then going up and down and raising. It's able to do the lines without any raising. So it could do one of these, these line drawings much quicker, which makes my tests go much smoother. I don't love that the ball is rolling in the same direction each time. I feel like that's not an accurate as, as accurate as writing with letters where you're right. The balls are going in all sorts of directions, but I'm willing to make that trade off because it is much faster. So again, Sharpie SGL one do millimeter in the lines. We have one, two, three, four pages, and then died right after four. And just for reference, the lines are not comparable to the pages of the lorem ipsum text. These are just interesting relative to one another. So we're going to call the one dot millimeter four pages. Now we'll move over to the Sharpie SGL 0.7. One, two, three, four, four and a half. Not as much extra capacity out of this as I would expect it. You know, you're getting four pages out of one dental millimeter and four and a half out of the 0.7 millimeter. That's for me disappointing. I would expect maybe eight, nine, something like that at 0.7. You know, I would expect a third more given, or you know, about a third more given how that works out mathematically, but that just was not the case. So I'm going to continue testing this, but it seems like the trade-off from going from a 0.7 to a one dental millimeter or going from a smaller to a larger size may not be as drastic as I had thought I had experienced over the years. I'm going to test this out with a different pen where I can go from like, say 0.38 to 0.5 to 0.7 to one dot millimeter. And we'll check back in on that at a later date. So yeah, that is my look at pen longevity. I realized this was just a quick survey of what's out there, but I think there's some interesting takeaways. Obviously very small fountain pen, put down a ton of ink, didn't last very long. Cartridge is small. It used a lot of ink. Pilot Precise V10. Great writer, but that cartridge does not last that long. Sharpie S gel and maybe any sort of pen. The trade off from 0.7 to 1.0, oh, not that big. So if you like that bigger size, I'd say don't feel that bad about what you're losing out and your, you know, your price per written page is not that much more. Crazy capacity from the Pentel Flotune. I don't know if this is a special pen or if all of the liquid roller balls are just, they have a lot of ink in them and they last a long time. That's something I need to test more. And then the 1F was very reliable, so it did its job there well. It got through the whole refill. Maybe under real-life conditions, it suffers, but it did well here. And it got eight pages, which I thought was pretty light. I would have expected more from this pen. In, it is a 0.5 millimeter. I would have expected more from it, but it did eight pretty good relative to uh, the rest of the pens we used. So just some quick findings. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments. It took a ton of work to run this robot, for, you know, we're looking for hours and hours of writing time uh, over a week of nonstop operation from this thing. So just let me know if this was a video you want to see more of in the future. Thanks for watching.